Hello, everybody. Greetings in the name of Jesus. Praise God for another opportunity uh, to be able to gather online for our Bible study, our weekly Bible study. So I uh, just want to greet you, all of you, especially our Midway uh, Psalm 1 Assembly of God church members. Thank you for making the time uh, to tune in today, um, but especially our friends, anyone who is visiting for the first time online uh, and just kind of, uh, you know, dropping in to see what's happening here at uh, Midway. We just want to greet you in the name of Jesus. Thank Thank you for joining us in our weekly Bible study service and, and any of our partners, fellow ministers and ministries around the world. Uh, we want to greet you all in the name of Jesus um, and just praise God for the opportunity and this uh, just this method that we are able to use, especially in this season of the church, uh, to continue to declare and proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. So thank you for joining us. We pray that God will bless you uh, and all of us in our time together today. I'm going to say what a prayer to begin our Bible study today. Let's pray. Father, we give you all the glory and the honor, and we thank you, Lord. Uh, we know, God, that any time we gather, you are with us. And so I pray, God, that you will bless us in our weekly Bible study today. As we get ready to dive into your word, we invite you, Holy Spirit, to please come and lead us, guide us. Uh, you, we know that you have been sent to lead us in all truths and the truth that Jesus Christ has laid down. And so we pray for your blessings, God, as we get into your word. Guide us and be with us, Father, in everything that we do, Lord. Let it be for your glory and honor. From Amen. Well, if you're just tuning in, we just want to greet you one more time. Thank you for tuning in and uh, just making the opportunity to join us in our weekly Bible study. If you've been following with the last couple of Wednesdays, uh, our church has been on a mini Bible study series called Sound Doctrine, a Pentecostal Perspective. Sound Doctrine, a Pentecostal Perspective. And we believe uh, we are a Bible-based church, and part of that means understanding the God that we serve. Part of being rooted and founded on the Word of God is to inform us of what we believe in. Otherwise, we may lift up our hands with you know without knowing why we do the things we may worship without understanding and and we believe that the word teaches us that we need to understand who we worship otherwise we have sort of this blind faith if you will but our faith should be informed and it's that's why we have the word of god to help lay down the foundation so that we can have a stronger and deeper relationship with the god that we serve and the stronger that relationship the more likely you will engage and and participate in worship and, and, and in building that relationship. And so that's the goal behind this mini series is to really help you because like we've been saying, it's it's not really, no matter how long this Bible study series is, we're never going to fully comprehend the word of God. But all we can do is study bit by bit and then lay a foundation so that even after this Bible study, the goal is you as an individual will dig deeper. So we give you sort of the platform or the step that you could just, you know, begin the foundation to help, you know, launch your uh, Bible study so that you could do this personally. You know, the goal is that Bible study becomes this lifelong journey. Uh, 
aina ya ole vava aina fa pentecoso e pe ole ole mafu anga fo ole ne series langa et tawona tato mala malama ile tu ole tato te au ona ya ya e pe omtam fa ya tu te lo time e tato te le tapu ai ile pongsa tawona tato mala malama leile tu ole pole ale mafu anga si ya tato lima ole ale mafu anga tato e vi ai ya e le mafaina tato mala malama tu langa ya pe ale leile fa avai ole mta upo ole ai a o fe la mel e mo ole mta upo ole ai ole afiona pa i ole tu langa pe omtam fa ya tu la matang ole tato series ole mea moa moa ole upu fa au wina ole tu i tato mala malama ole tu spa ia ole tu spa ia u malava a ole upu fa au wina ole tu e mai le tu a lava ia le wina ole le upu e leni lan tam fa ia tu ole mana va hola ole tu so se tami e tatala i tato ole upu ole tu i tato mala malama ole mana va hola na ole tu ole wa mana va mai i tato me la na i tau a i le ta i le fa avai o tato le mau a o tato le upu ole tu pe on tam fa ia tu fo i e ui lava na fa o ngai le tu i tato nga tai le ato toa ai la na le fa mai o i na fa o ngai o le anganga pa ia a o sofia le anganga pa ia me le o ma fa i no la tu 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 si i tu spa i le fa i tau i tato me fo i na ma fa i no tato tal tonu i ai la nga o le na fa o ngai le anganga pa ia ai pe o le mai na le tato tal noi ai le o tato wo i vai anga long lua Vai nga longa lua leo loo yei tato tano anga e toa tasi leo toa moni. We serve the one true God and we've been spending the last three Wednesday, uh, Wednesdays just trying to break that apart and help us understand just what it means to, to serve the one true God. And we, like we said, we can never fully grasp who God is because our finite minds cannot fully comprehend the infinite God that we serve. But we did our best by just looking at God's character. Satato Vava ai i a mio po o winga fo i o le tua Langa pe on tam fai atu le ma tango tato In o tato talanoe i le vaenga le o le tato series E le ma fai o tato ma fau fau Fa ale te ngata a E ona ma la ma lama I le te le ma le ma tato ti o le tua le E pa u le a se tam ma fainga O le tato vava ai to toa I winga ma mio le tua I a o me la na ua A lo ai se te mi o tato talanoe A le nei aso o le a fa u mai tato talanoe A pe on tam fai ya tu na uni mef so so ani awa ele level time e ta total no enta upu ya a na ona i mef tu fatu fatu e fe so so ani ina ia ina ia uma loyal nei bible series e e te alu e matu asa ili a ye matu asu e su e lava o e ia fai pe ma fa a wa pe lo o e a su e su e ngol e upo le tua ina ia mausali ai o e le finangalo le tua mausali le fatu tua ya ma ia la utele lo i lo e le ona ia poto ai o e ina ia a lo loto a ilo maftanga mele tua a a e peo se mea nana fia tu fatua ile nei tu nga le aso e so so ani e foi ile ile tato au au nanga ile tua so we're gonna close up our this second part of our discussion on the one true God today and and we hope that again this will help you as you continue to seek the word of God because again this here is is this corporate setting is to help you but the goal is that individual you will study the word of God day and night because that's what the Bible says right uh, a man who who studies uh, who who delights in the word of God day and night will be like a tree that is you know um, um, that is rooted next to uh, a flowing water so the idea there is that Bible study is not a one-day thing this is our corporate Bible study but the prayers that you are spending time in the word of God every single day so um, uh, God bless you in our Bible study today if you have your Bibles first Corinthians chapter 8 verse 4 through 6 mua mol kornito lo nam ta upe valu fa upe fase or fa upe ono ma na yele mi folo tu spa ia te fai tau wai pe on tam fai lava il matou lava e kale sia e tau lava no yei le tu spa ia ia te oe ia ema fai ona e fai tau wai fai o e lungal kel fongi po le alava le mea ngai fa o nga ia ta to su e fa ta si ia ia awa nei ave se se ia ia le upo le tua ia ia fai tau lava o awa onga uma e sa u sa oa me tu spa ia le tua e ma na ia le su e ia oe ma e fai tau wai mo mo kore nito e valu fai upe fa se fa ngata mai fai upe ono 1 Corinthians 8 verses 4 through 6 I'm going to read it in English then I'll read it in Samoan I'm reading from the New King James Version 1 Corinthians 8 verse 4 through 6 Therefore concerning the eating of things offered to idols we know that an idol is nothing in the world and that there is no other God but one for even if there are so-called gods, 
whether in heaven or on earth, as there are many gods and many lords. Yet for us, there is one God, the Father, of whom are all things, and we for him, and one Lord Jesus Christ, through whom are all things, and through whom we live. Mua moko ni tsa valu fa upe fase or fa upe ono. A ole ai i mea e fasia mo tupua. Ua tatu i loa, ole mea fa atau vaa i le lalo langi le tupua. E le ai fo i se tasi atua, ua nao le to atasi lava. A ua e ui lava i na o iai e ua ta ua o atua. O i le langi ma le lalo langi. Ona ua iai atua e to atele ma li e to atele. Ai pei tai. Wa ia te i tātou le atua e to atasi o le ta maa ia e pua mai ia te ia mea uma o i tātou whoi ua whai mo ia. Mo le a li ia to atasi o Iesu keriso ua whai e ia mea uma o i tātou whoi ua whai e ia. Ia whamanuia mai le atua i le whai tauina o lo nga whionga pa ia le nei tūlau ni aso. God bless you in the reading of the Word of God. Today, we're going to look at the special uh, aspect of God, uh, uh, which, you know, is one of the more harder doctrines to look at. But we're going to do our best today. And we're going to look at one other characteristic of God, uh, which is the Trinity. The Trinity of God. Our study of God's characteristics has only touched the surface or even scratched the surface of who God is for the last couple lessons. And like I said, we can never truly fully comprehend the greatness of God. So the study of God for any serious Christian will be a lifelong journey. These lessons are there to prepare and help build a foundation for us to build on. When we talk about the doctrine of the Trinity, it is one of the greatest mysteries of the scripture. The Bible shows that there is one God, yet that one God has revealed himself as a Trinity of three distinct persons, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. E tolu fo i au na persona, tolu fo i tangata ta i to atasi, ua faalia mai e ilo na mamalu, le atua le tama, le atua le alo, le atua le anganga pa ia. And so as we look at this, we're going to do our best to break it down. But again, this is a disclaimer. <laughs> We're not going to be able to do, you know, to answer every little question. But the hope is to give you a foundation so that you yourself can go and study with the help of the Holy Spirit. Uh, really understand the doctrine of Trinity. Uh, and as we study the Trinity, I wanted to start off with two false teachings. Langa e lua o anga se se le fa te tau i le ton tasi pa ia i le ma tau pol ton tasi pa ia o te fiem na a ma tai i a wane i se se a i ta tau i le ta tau sa i linga a me se le su e su e no le ma tau upu. So I want to start with those two false teachings just to help us again have groundwork in our study of the Trinity. The first false teaching that exists today is the teaching of tritheism. Tritheism. Uh, it sounds it sounds nice, but um, the idea or the problem with tritheism is this: the belief that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are three separate gods. I want you to hear that because it's gonna it might get a little confusing when we're trying to do this whole three in one deal. But I want you to catch these words: the the the, the belief of tritheism is a belief that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are three. Here's the key word: separate gods. In other words, it goes against our belief, our belief of Trinity, because we believe that God is one. That even though He has three distinct persons in Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, they're not three separate. Separate gods, they are one. Tritheism teaches that there is 
the God who is the Father. There is a separate God who is Jesus. There is a separate God who is the Holy Spirit. There are three distinct gods. So instead of one God, this belief says there are three gods. But in our belief, we believe there is one God, but three different distinct persons. And we're going we're gonna to break that down more. But just to help you understand, this is wrong in the belief that there are three different gods. No, we don't believe that God is separate. He's still one. He just has three different distinct uh, persons uh, in the Trinity. But we're going to break that down. But I hope you catch that. Tritheism says there are three gods. There's, there is God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. It almost sounds like it's true, but it's not. They've separated. There is Sabellianism. Sabellianism, tu sa leo lo faa ngoa ile, ile faa hii uose etasio epikopo, epikopo a, ile etasia mua mua a olona faa hii o Sabellius. Aina hao hao ele epikopo, yele hao aonga se se efemei, o le hao aonga o le ta maa le alo ma le anganga pa ia. Ele tolu ni lani te ngata es ese, etasi le atua, a o winga maa miu es ese le atua. Ah, weva, ai mai la a. Langa lea ua tato ilo e ese Yesu, ese ale nganga pa ia, e tasi lato finangalo, tasi lato loto. Ai ole mele wafo a wao e le epikopo leo ya Sabellius. Leo a wao a wao femei e tasi lava le atua, e le ai la se Yesu, e le ese nganga pa ia. A ole alo ma le nganga pa ia, o winga ia a le atua, po a miu es ese ia le atua leo lo fa atino mai, you know, e fa e tama faile tu spa i fa matala mai o Yesu. Ai le ai se Yesu, e le ai fo ise nganga pa ia, ai le la tato baba ai, e se Yesu, e se fo ile nganga pa ia, ai pe on tam faiatu, e tasi lato finangalo, tasi me umalato te faia a, a ole awa onga se se le a le manato ia, e si a fo ita maa e fa apea, e le se Yesu, e le ai, le winga la, e le ia, e le, Ele yai Yesu, ele yai le anganga pa ia Wa na o le atua lava Ai atal noa lo te le tus pa ia yai Yesu Tu sa lewa tala noa e se isi tu a Se isi ya mi o Yesu Po se isi winga o le atua Se isi winga o le atua Tu sa tal tonunga na e tasi a le atua A o winga es ese i o le atua E a mi o pe o le alo E a mi o fo i pe o le anganga pa ia Ai le aisi anganga pa ia Le ese fo i Yesu Wa na o le atua Apo tato i loa E ese Yesu Lango Yesu le anga fa pe sa o le a ongel ale 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 tamalia ya ele ele ma failan tato taltonu ile loko na 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 fa aliutino ina ah so mela na se se ele o ongel ele ngale la feme ele iliutino loko le ya fio mai yesu ah ale la tato baba ai ai ile se se o ile se se o taltonu ngale sabellianism is named after a bishop his last name is sabellius who taught that the father and the Holy Spirit are simply three aspects of the one God. So he doesn't believe that there is a Jesus, there is a Holy Spirit. Instead, it's just three different aspects. In other words, whenever the Bible is referencing Jesus, it's not an actual Jesus. Instead, it's just it's a different way of, of explaining who God is. Same with the Holy Spirit, that the Holy Spirit is God, but there is no Holy Spirit per se. But we believe that they are three distinct persons, uh, but again, they're not separate. 
separate in the way they think and the way they do things, they're one. And so we're going to look at that. So hopefully that will help you uh, just to kind of start off. Uh, we'll dig deeper as we try to explain the Trinity or the triune God, right? Um, so we're going to jump in into our study this uh, this evening. First thing that I want to look at, um, and we're going to just break, the, break this down into two things. But the first thing we need to understand is the unity of God. Because again, this is the one thing that we need to really grasp in our minds. Now, it's going to be difficult because, like I said... When we think of three, we, we think from a, a point of, of from human, uh, pr a human perspective, but we will never truly grasp this. And so I'm going to do our best to understand what it means for the unity of God, because I want to start there. We need to understand the oneness of God. Uh, so number one, in the unity of God, we need to understand that... Uh, just like the title of our um, our subject, that that the God that we serve is the one true God. Ah, to atasi le to amoni le vanga mo mu ana le feme tu se tu tu no me ono fa upe fa isara elue fa alongo longo maia o yova lo tato atua o yova e to atasi lava ia ah e pe ole tatalo ma sani le tanga ta yutaya. This was the prayer, the daily Jewish prayer, which emphasized the great truth of the unity of God. Deuteronomy six verse four says, "Hear, O Israel." The Lord our God, the Lord is one. And so again, we're talking about the unity of God, the oneness of God, that God is, there is no other God, there is only one God. You know, when we look at our verse, uh, uh, as we look at our scripture that we read, it was talking about the context is, uh, Paul is dealing with the Corinth with uh, the offering of sacrifices to idols. But in the midst of that conference, or I'm uh, sorry, in, in the midst of that context, um, uh, Paul is addressing that an idol cannot be compared to the one true God. He's looking at it because he says, therefore concerning the, eat, the eating of things offered to idols, we know that an idol is nothing in the world. When we look at our reading and we're talking about this idea of a one true God, 
God. You know, and you look at our Bible reading again within that context, Paul is trying to say that an idol is nothing in the world, but we know that there is one God. There is one God that we serve. For even though there are so-called gods, right? In, in, in other words, Paul is trying to say, yes, uh, there, there are all these different gods that we worship. You know, you look at the Roman you know, times and the Greek myths and you see the God of thunder and the God of water and, and the God of air and the God of war, all these different gods. And so Paul is acknowledging there are so many different so-called gods, but we as followers of Jesus Christ, as people who are founded in the word of God, we need to know that, that there is only one God who is the father of all things, the father from whom all of the earth comes from, right? From whom all of the things were made and we also were made for him. You know, we know that God made us, you know, these false gods were made by who? Were made by human beings. But for God himself, he made us and we were made for him. And so we need to understand that all these other false gods that were made by our own hands, they not they do not come close to the one true God that we serve. You know, I remember in our last text, we were talking about these gods that are made by hands. They don't talk. They have mouths, but they don't talk. They have eyes, but they don't see. They have ears, but they don't hear, right? And so they have this physical form, but they're unable to engage with you. And yet we serve the God who engages with us. Remember that, that we serve a God who is omnipotent, that is everywhere, right? A God that is omniscience, that, that knows all things things, right? And a God that is omnipotent, that is all powerful. And so we need to remember that these other false gods aren't able to do what the one true God does. And that is, you know, he, he we were made for him. And so I hope we understand this first concept that there is only one God. In our teaching and our belief as Christian, there is only one God. There is only one God. Number two, we're still talking about the unity of God. Number two says this, God is completely unique. God is completely, totally, 100% unique. This idea of being unique means that he is separated from all other gods. He is one of a kind. There is no one who compares or even comes close to the God that we serve. You know, in that same passage, when we look at here is the Lord, our God, the Lord is one. That word one there in the Hebrew word can be translated as one and only. Think about that. The one and only God. In other words, no other God, just one. And he is the one God and the only God. And so when we look at this idea of God being we're trying to establish the thought or the idea or the principle better that God is separate from all other gods. He, that no God even comes close. In other words, how dare we try to compare these false gods to the one true powerful God. Ma <laughs> 
yala to au ua faita wina na te vala au ya te ilato uma iyo lato ingoa ona ole tele olona malosi malona mana tele ele aisa uh, ele aiso lato e lei loa o ile lo tala noi le lo tala noi fetu le fe mai na te tai tai mai fetu ah ile tai me tau na tai tai mai e fe mai la ya fe mai ya ua faita wina le winga ua loa ele tua yele yele numera o fetu uma ile ao I had to, and my fire to, I want to fight out. Man, I never made it to work. Say, a tepa ele langi. Ma eva va ai nei mea ma ma e mana tu natu ai po o ai na faia nei mea ah. I a tato va va ai ai po o ai na faia nei mea. And uh, and that's what this is saying. It's saying that you know, if you look at Isaiah, Isaiah here is saying, to whom will you compare me? It's saying, or who is my equal? Says the Holy One. Lift up your eyes and look to the heavens. Who created all of these? He who brings out the starry host one by one and calls forth each of them by name because of his great power and mighty strength not one of them is missing and that's the idea can we count the stars in the skies absolutely not but god says he numbers them he knows them by name and not one of them is missing what is he trying to display here the greatness of god that no one can compare to god tawi me uma ia wa faita wina ile tu le fai nu me wa fetu le ngata ile wa ilo ia ingo ingo ss ai le ngata ile fai ia ele ise ise ele ilo a e si la fia ile tu ia fetu ma me uma me ala le lo tam fai le tu e fa amalam lama mai ile mata utia Ah, male sili sili esse o le tu ale tato te au aunai. Yeah, so ye tato malam lama. God is a unique God. E le ai se se fa tu sa le tua. There are many false gods, but only one true God. He is not. And here's the thing. He is not one of many gods. Because some people, that's the teaching. E ai se o for me. You know, oh, the God that the Christians serve is just one of many different gods. Wrong. We believe that God is not the chief of many gods or one of many gods. He is unique because he is. Is the one and only God, and there are no other gods before Him. There is one and only God, the unique God. It is God, the, the God that we serve. Ah, the great I am, the the, the mighty God uh, that we read in the Word of God. Langa yei stel tu nunga femei o se tasi o tua ah femei o tato o tua le tato te o ona yei o se tasi o tua isi o tua to tele i le isi se e se se ai va va e se se ai le 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 ma losi ma le tato ti o le tua le tato se o ona yei e le ma fai fu ina tato fa tu sa tu sa ina le tua si Sili le a i isi a tua pepe lo i le au au na i te o te lo i sanga ta a e le te te i lata lata i le mata o tia ma le sili sili esi o le tua le tato te au au na i me ala na i tato malam lama e le ma fai o na fa tu sa tu sa le tua i se i si me alava e le i se tu sa ma le tua God is completely unique. Number three, God cannot be divided. Ah, into parts. God cannot be divided into parts. E le ma fai o na vai vai ina le tua ini vai nga es ese. Ah, o tam fai le lau tam fai fam chalato. E le ma fai o na vai vai ina le tua ini vai nga es ese. Le winga sam chaka le winga se fam chalanga. Ah, e atato mana tu natu ne ile ile mta upule o le tolu tasi pa ia. E pe o telo te mi atato ma fau fau o tanga atato tolu es ese. Ah, le o tato i a tato mana tu alang a tato mana tu mana i alfa tai tai inga le o le va o le unga li i ah se unga li i fou le e a oa o mai tu spa ia so se tai mi e no no fa ta se ia le ia le tane ma le ma la na va o a tasi la o ilu mo le tua o le fa tai tai inga la na le fi tom fa ia tua o le tasi na ilu mo le tua le winga o o a tasi ia le la ia le la a inga a e u i la va tasi la o ilu mo le tua a tato va va ia e s s a i o win Ah, es es ale a mio tama, es es fo ya ya mio ma wing ole tina. A tasi lu mo le tua ono le fai poponga le wa fai le wa fai le fil filinga e tasi la u lu mo le tua. A tato va va aye yu nga li es es ala u es es fai ngola fil filinga es es la mio es es la va la u i winga ma mio ah a il mele tam fai ya tua ele fa pe na la le tua a tato va va aye le tua len tam fai ya tu le 
tua le tama le tua le alo le tua le anga paia e ui lava es es la to e tasi la to e le ngata la e tasi la to e tasi fo ia la to finangalo tasi fo ia la to manatu tasi le loto tasi le lofa tasi me la to te faia e le es es pe fe le feling la to manatu le winga e le fa pe atu le atua e fail me le a onga fail me le el munga ko yesu ke lo pe uma le ka onga fail le ai o le me finga ngalo e le atua nga fo u finga ngalo e fo yesu finga ngalo e fo ile nga pa ia me le nga fa me fo il yesu e a wina me le nga pa ia o le sau fo ile nga pa ia e le sau ia ya o ngi me fo ai sau ia e ko e fa ma na tu mai ya te o e me wo umana me wo umana ha o o ina ya u ya te o e wa ya u le yesu la nga pe on tsam fa ya tu e le es 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 ya o nga se nga pa ia e le es es fo ise nga se a o nga le o yesu Ese ese fo isa wa onga le tua le ai a wa o le tua e a wa o mai fo i esu me le nganga pa ia la nga tasi la to lu mo le tasi la to a a a a a a a fa to nu mai fo i esu le fo fa to nu mai le tua me le nganga pa ia a a sa fo i le nganga pa ia wa ki nga le nganga pa ia le fo wa ki nga esu ki nga fo i le tua ai sia la nga tasi ya la to finangalo tasi na tu tasi loto tasi la to e to lu la va ese ese la to i tu la nga persona a tu nga o tangata tai to tasi a i own it ngalo e tasi la to lu mole tu i'm really trying to you know explain this because again it's really hard but the idea here that god cannot be divided into three parts is when we look at it from this this perspective when we talk about parts we're talking about the sense of more so the character of these three uh, uh tr- these three people in the trinity even though there are three distinct persons god the father god the son god the holy spirit they are one in how they think how they respond in their will they have one will in other words when god wills something it's the same for jesus and the holy spirit in other words no one person of the trinity is going to do their own thing no they're all going to work to, when jesus speaks god and the holy spirit is speaking when the holy spirit moves god and jesus is also moving they work coherently they work in congruency they work together they're not separated in their mind in their character if god is love so is jesus so is the holy spirit and so you know and i like to bring example because in our human terms when we think of two different people we think that there's no way that we can think alike that we can you know we can come close you know but we would never truly think alike we would never truly do things alike and so you know we brought up the example of a husband and wife the bible teaches that as a man leaves his parents and becomes one with his wife they become one before god and so the idea there is that even though they're two separate people once they're married they're one before god but here's the problem with this even though we're one before god the truth is husbands and wives we think differently we have our own characters we have our own uh, characteristics we have our own thoughts process we do things differently we will try to that's why uh, you know if you haven't noticed you know some people think that oh becoming married becoming one everything's going to be easy until you get married right <laughs> and not to say that it's bad but once you get in that's why some of the times you get married start to get surprised at some of the things that you didn't know before about your wife or your husband why because now you're starting to work that out and you're starting to figure out that even though you're one before God you have different uh ways of thinking different ways of responding and different wills and so the idea here is that we cannot equate that that mindset of how different we are but one before God to the trinity because with the trinity even though there are three different people but one the same concept the difference between the two is they're separate in their character and thought the trinity here is one in their thought whatever god says is the same thing jesus says is the same thing holy spirit says if the holy spirit is grieved so is the son so is the father so the idea there you know if you look at john and when john talks about how you know uh that god in 1st john 4 verse 8 he says that god is not just you know he he is not just uh, uh he he doesn't just have the characteristics of love but god is love And so in that context when we when John is saying that God is love that means that because of the oneness of the Trinity even though they're separate but they're one God is love Jesus is love right and the Holy Spirit is love so I hope you're catching the idea because remember tritheism that wrong teaching they teach that there are three distinct gods with individual wills individual mindsets individual thoughts that's the problem with tritheism they they're, they're right in that there are three different persons that
part they're right. But where they go wrong is when they say that they're three different gods, three different mindsets. But here in the Trinity, there are three different persons, but one in the way they think, in the way they do things, and in the way they serve or, uh, uh, you know, um, um, work. So I hope that helps you understand that God cannot be divided. He's one. When we talk about one, that means he is one in everything, in his character, in his nature. God never changes. We know that, right? Because God is one. He will always remain what? Consistent to his word. That's why we say he's faithful. The only way that God can be faithful is because he's not divided. He's not separate in the way they think and work. They are one before God. So uh, God, because God cannot be separated, he will always be what he says he is. Ah, uh, he will always be holy. He will always be good. He will always be righteous. He will always be faithful to who he is. And because of that, and we hope that you understand the importance of this unity of God, we can trust in him. We can totally trust and depend on God because he will never change. That's why he becomes immutable. He cannot change because he's one, because he's consistently one. And so he cannot be separated. So I hope that will help you understand just the unity of God. And so to close up, um, you know, we're going to continue to expand on just a little bit more of the Trinity, but we're also going to look at some examples in the Bible to show you the Trinity here. Now, the truth of the matter is this, the word Trinity is not found in the Bible. I'll just start off with that. Some of you may be saying, what is this doctrine? I don't even see the word Trinity in the Bible. You're right. Uh, there is no, uh, the term Trinity is not found in the Bible, but this term is used because it rightly describes uh, just another aspect or a characteristic or um, um, just another part of who God is, the greatness of God is. And so, but we're going to look in here and we're going to see that the Trinity truly is in effect. There will be a lot of evidence in the Bible that shows us that the Trinity truly is in effect in the Word of God. So we're going to look at it from this point of sense, the triune God. You've heard that sometimes, the triune God. It's just another fancy word for triune. That's three in one. That's the Trinity idea of three in one. God the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. So the Trinity means that there is one God but three persons. Okay, as we established that in the beginning, Three persons, God the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. But even though they're three distinct persons, they are still one in everything that they do. They are one substance, yet they are three persons. They are eternally equal in power and glory and corporate with one mind and one purpose. Remember in Philippians where it says that Jesus humbled himself, that he even, uh, he did not take, uh, he didn't even consider or, or, you know, his equality with God, but instead humbled himself. There's that term. In other words, Jesus knew that he was equal to God, but instead of looking at that position, he, he, he disregarded that position and he humbled himself. So this idea that they are equal, that God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are equal. They are eternally equal in power and glory. In other words, there's not a less a lesser person in the Trinity. And, you know, I encourage this because sometimes we tend to put the Holy Spirit in that, you know, lower uh, level. But we need to understand that the Holy Spirit has the equal power of God and the Son. It has the equal glory. They are one mind with one person. So we need to understand that, that it's okay when we say we praise you, Holy Spirit. It's okay. It's Don't feel like, oh, is that wrong? No, it's okay because they are one. They're equal. When you praise the Holy Spirit, you're praising the Father. You're praising the Son. Ah, they cannot be separated. None of them exists or works separately or independently of others. They are perfectly one in both nature and character. I hope I'm driving that home. That's what makes them different. Because even though they're three different people, they're still one 
perfectly one in nature and character. And so we're going to look at a few illustrations in the Bible to close off our Bible study. And I hope that this will assist you. you again, you can dig deeper and you can look uh, just in Scripture. Um, but for the sake of time, we're just going to look at a few examples to help you see the Trinity in effect. In the Old Testament... In the Old Testament, you will notice, and you can write these verses down. I'll, I'll, I'll slow down just a little bit so you can help, but you can write these verses down so you can look at it for yourself. The first verse I wanted to look at, Genesis 1, verse 26. In the Old Testament, uh, just to set, up, set you up, you will notice that in the beginning of creation, God often uses the plural pronoun to speak of himself. When I say plural pro pronoun, in other words, we know that the singular is he, she, or you, depending on the context. But plural here means we, us, or you all, right? And so here, we're going to look at some verses where God refers to them in the plural pronoun. Genesis 1 verse 26. Uh, you can write that down and look at it when you get a chance. Genesis 1 26. This is when God was getting ready to make Adam. So he's already created the earth and this was on the sixth day and he's getting ready to create Adam. And notice what he says. God said, let us make man in our image. Now, I want you to catch that. It's not a mistake. He uses a plural pronoun. He says, let us. Okay, catch that. When you say us, us is plural, meaning more than one. So it's not a mistake by the Bible. No, again, it's going to reference that in the beginning. Because remember, John chapter 1 verse 1 says what? In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word is God. And then verse 14 says the Word was made flesh. Who is that Word? Jesus Christ. So if we, we talk about John 1 verse 1, in the beginning was God, we're saying that Jesus was in the beginning with God, and He is God. Ah, Tato faya o le tangata ilo tato fa tusa ngave fa alua le tato o le tato ile o tano le tu na oia a le tato le wenga e e e tangata ia lo tano ile tu le fa tasi maia le fe me ina tato faya ia o le tangata ilo tato fa tusa tato ile fe me i lo fa tusa a ile fa pe fo i o le a o aluatu e fe me ina tato e fo linga mai lo tano le tu a inisio tangata le o tato ilo a mo le a ongal tu spa ia ia o lo tano a ia Jesu ma le anga あ、いてイロアイランペイラオレアオンアレレヨアニモモアサイレアマタンアレロコオエレロコオイエスクリソレラアフェメイサイレアマタンアロコオレンアレファマタンアマイナイレアマタンアイエスイレフォフォインアフ
Mela lena tuli ese ailoya a tamu maeva mailefa to ango etena. Ah, so when we look at Genesis 3, verse 22, God again speaks in the midst of the first sin. And during that punishment in Genesis 3, verse 22, we read that the man, God is saying that the man has now become like one of us. Again, there is the plural term, more than one. So he's saying the man has become one of, like one of us. Therefore, we, therefore, we are going to need to, you know, kick him out. So uh, of the Garden of Eden. Genesis 11, verse 7. If you remember the Tower of Babel, you remember the story that the these people came together and they were united. They wanted to build a tower that would reach the heavens. And so the Bible says that God came down to see what they were doing. And when he saw that they were with one heart and that they would, you know, complete this, God said that we need to get down there and confuse their language. John, Genesis 11 verse 7. Again, he's using the plural term. Let us go down and confuse their language. Ah, malam lama ke nesis fultansi fitu lena Ina tato wo ifo ia matato a tu sa levo lo tala no al tol tas pa ia yam lisi va enga mul mul if so swan pen fa te le aisi mau auna una i mau if so swan ia malam la mai isaia ono fa upe valu le i le vala aunga le tu ia isaia a le na fa mai li al tu se isaia ono fa upe valu fa mai ona o fa alonga tu ai le le si ufonga o le li o fa ape mai o ai e a o te aui na atu. O ai foi e alu atu mo i mātou. Ah, o ai mātou. O ai alu mo i mātou. O leo lo tala noa le atu le tūna taspa ia. Yesu ma le anganga pa ia. Lewinga o ai e fai masui mo au o le atu o au Yesu o au o le anganga pa ia. Ah, Isaiah 6, 8, when God was calling out, uh, who will go, you know, who will, who, who, who will answer the call? And then he says, who will go for us? Again, the plural term, who is us? Who will go for God? Who will go for Jesus? Who will go for the Holy Spirit? So again, clear uh, indications, even though we don't see the term Trinity, but you can see the harmony and the evidence of where the Trinity comes together. Now, the New Testament it comes, you know, the evidence here is even greater. And perhaps the biggest uh, uh, example is found in the baptism of Jesus Christ. You remember that it's found in Matthew 3, uh, Mark 1, and Luke chapter 3. And this is the baptism of Jesus Christ by John the baptizer. And when we look at that, we can see a clear evidence of the distinct persons. So this goes against Sabellianism, which believes that there is no three distinct persons, there's just one God. So remember, they just teach it's one God, but Jesus is is just another uh, aspect, another way to you know to call God, same as the Holy Spirit. But there is only one God, not three distinct persons. But we're going to see in the baptism of Jesus Christ that it goes against this teaching that there are three distinct persons, and we know that when Jesus was baptized, right? Jesus is being baptized. The Bible says that what the heavens opened up and a dove came from heaven in uh, or I mean, the spirit came from heaven in the form of a dove. And then on top of that, we hear a voice, right? The Bible says, John says, I heard a voice from heaven, which said, this is my son in whom I am well pleased. There we have all three distinct persons of the Trinity visible in one place. Jesus being baptized, the spirit ascending from heaven, like in the form of a dove and God, the father speaking in heaven, all three distinct persons. Appearing at once. Ah, let's talk to you, Lord. Let's talk to you. Now, yes, you, a peo se vang at a tele a letter to te loi. A tolu yet another is esse po persona is esse o le tua. A se se a la la o on a si epicopole for me tassia le tua is esse a me or no. Let's talk to you. I tell me the baptiso. Yes, you, yes, you, and a baptiso la langi for me na matala ile langi on a few my ile and a pae peo se a peo se lupe. Lengata ile for me wa fa long what to you on it. 
feta lai mai lea tua ile langi olo o atali i lea o o fia fia te lei ai. Le winga lai tato wama aia i e tolu ia vaenga es ese le o faatino i le paptiso ngao Yesu. Yesu le paptiso le anganga le o fio mai e peio le lupe ia ma lea tua le o feta lai mai olo o atali i lea o te fia fia i ai a. Me ala na ia tato manam na mai o le tolu taspa ia e u i lava leo mawa le upu leo le tolu taspa ia le tuspa ia a e leo a lava me ia ia o hao mai i tato e i ai le tolu taspa ia a Ioane tolu vei upo esfulma leona o tato ma san i ai a wau a lofa mai le atua ua a wina mai i ai lona alo le winga es ese le atua es ese Iesu tasil manatu tasil loto a es ese la ua langa le ma faina a wina mai le atua ia a a ina a wina mai lona alo a e fai tau lau le Ioane esfulma le fa mei o le atua le tama fa pena fo ia ia le alo Iesu ke riso o la ua le e a wina mai i ai le a nganga pa ia tu sa le foi tato vai tolu 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 es tolu leita nga tsa esese mua mua na awina mai le atua ono lona lofa la langi yesu o lona alo le foi la la to ya fio yesu langi a le wo fai le le wo fetsa la yesu o lo uta ma foi o le langi o a u foi le o le tu ina mai ya le le so so ani mo o to o le so so ani o le nganga pa ia so le tolu tasi pa ia le lo tato va va ai ai a ma ta yo foi lo as ful mal valu fai u pes ful mal iva e ma nino al fetsa Ah, Leo le polo inga silsili mo i tātou uma ina ia tātou wao ina ia tātou atu e whainu uma masoo o Iesu ia papatiso atu i lea i le swafa o le tamā le alo ma lea nganga pa ia te lei loa la po le ala se isi me e whama nino ai fo ia le tolu taspa ia a i leo fieta lai ai a Iesu il polo inga silsili i le maa tayo e lua sul malvalu fai upa sul maliva the great commission Matthew 28 verse 19 Uh, he 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 he's clearly uh, uh, distinguishing the Trinity here when he says to go out and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the what? The name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Very distinct, very clear. This is we will baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, the three and one, right? And then Second Corinthians thirteen verse fourteen. Even Paul he closes his letters. Olana tu sile i koranito e faumai tu so ana to e upui ele o faumai tu sile ele e kalesi e koranito e fa pele faumai ngolona tu si fa mei ia ia te o to u malava le alofa tu noa o le ali o Jesus Kristo male alofa o le atua. A toa ma le maa futa fa atasi mai o le anganga pa ia, weva ai. Tolu le i te ngatanga wa fa ai ua i le tala le tustu singa a Paulo i le tusi e koronito o na fa manuianga lea. Le fa manuia tu ai le kale si e koronito fa mei ia o tou malava maua le alofa tu noa le ali e o Iesu ke riso. Nga wata o mai Iesu le alofa o le atua, le atua le tama, ma le maa futa fa atasi mai o le anganga pa ia. O langa fai unga le E fawa ai foi la e te leo tus tu singa le apostolo Paulo E te fawa ai ai ia E fawa ngai e Paulo ia le atua Iesu ma le anganga pa ia E a mata ai ona tusi e fawa ta alo fatu Le swa fawa Iesu le ta ma Ia ma le anganga pa ia E te leo tus tu singa le apostolo Paulo E a mata fa pena Tato te i loa ai Le fawa i tal tonu e fawa le apostolo Paulo Le fawa i tus me il tus pa ia Peona awa wina O tus pa ia uma O ol tus pa ia o le atua lava ia a le winga lai le mfaina se se o le olo a oa o mai e yai tol tas pa ia e ui lava le o yai le upu le ol tol tasi a wa lava ia examples ia e fa matala ma fa iloa ma yai e moni lava ia le mta upu le ol tol tas pa ia so that last Um, you know, book in 2 Corinthians 13, verse 14, Paul is closing up his letters to his Corinth church. And he's closing it up by revealing the Trinity. He says, may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Right there, the grace of Jesus, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. The Trinity, three in one. And you know what? This is just one of his letters. But if you read Ephesians, if you read Titus, if you read Timothy, sometimes he'll mention it in the beginning. Sometimes he'll close it at the end. But if you read carefully, you will often see the Trinity of God. And so again, these are just some verses. Now, 
Kristo ile chato mtusi pa ia e faama oni ile tol tasi pa ia le tua tantonu wa faama dia maile tua ile wa onga upo le tua le ose le ose se upo se tangata ole afionga pa ia le tua ya ai peo se so so ania tuna ile chato mta upo ile ne foi tula le aso ole tua e to tasi la vaia a e ole tolu tasi pa ia e tolu ya ya vaenga es ya ya tangata es es a tasi la to manatu tasi ma fo fo tasi fil filinga tasi la va ya ya mea la to te faia a to ole winga ngal to tasi pa ia the trinity the triune god although they are three distinct persons they all work together Together for one purpose, one mission, one heart. They have one mindset. They have one nature, and they're perfect in it. They are never ever contradicting. They don't ever fight against each other. But they are one. So whatever God says, Jesus says. The Holy Spirit says. Whenever Jesus speaks, so does the Father and the Holy Spirit. Whenever the Holy Spirit moves, so is God. So is Jesus. They do everything in sync. They do everything uh, with one heart, one mind, and one soul. So uh, that brings us to the end of our Bible study today. And I'm just hoping that, again, this will set up the foundation so you can go and dig deeper. Don't be afraid to think hard and know that you have the Holy Spirit in you to help you uh, as you go on this lifelong study uh, uh, journey of studying the Word of God. And so, again, we hope that this has set up the foundation for you um, just in this study of the one true God uh, because you know we like to end with this if there's uh, any other reason for you to believe because again we go back to that scripture uh, without faith you cannot please God so this whole thing no matter what the teaching is everything begins with faith so until you have faith in God a lot of these things will not connect or make sense to you but you need to have faith and trust that he exists and that he is the reward of those who what diligently seek him he is the reward in other words even after this if you diligently study and seek him God will reward you so I encourage you be diligent in seeking but number one have faith uh, ตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัวตัว
yet a suifa lay so pakanga multato driving service. Yam failo at four initial for Fulanga, multato ekale. See, I am only ten year, only a five will tato on to Spaia, if a man will tell a tour, it tato ekale. See, I may so tato wool in a yafiafi. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Uh, as we like to close all of our, um, you know, Bible studies and services, and now may the Lord bless you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. May his grace and his peace be with you. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen. God bless you. We love you. Have a great week in the Lord.